Hello everybody, welcome to another Market Minute with Jake. I am your host Jake Eldridge with Realty One Group Eminence. In today's Market Minute, we are discussing the real estate activity for the Gardnerville, Minden, Topaz, and Genoa areas of Northern Nevada for February 17th, 2022. If we take a look at that real estate activity, it shows there is currently 52 homes actively for sale right now in these four regions, and 30 out of that 52 indicated they would be eligible for FHA financing. That is 58% of the inventory that is actively for sale right now. I always make note of that because many buyers are not only taking advantage of the historically low interest rates, but in addition to that, using FHA financing so they can put as little as 3.5% down as the down payment towards the purchase of that new home, when it used to be that sometimes you had to come up with upwards of 20% as your down payment in order to purchase a home. So diving right into the numbers again, there was 52 homes actively for sale. The highest list price was at 10 million and the low at 317,000. Six of those homes had a list price between 300 dollars and $400,000. Six of those homes were listed between 400 dollars and $500,000. Five homes were listed between 500 dollars and $600,000. Two homes listed between 600 and 700,000. Seven homes listed between 700,000 and 800,000. Seven homes listed between 800,000 and 900,000. Four homes listed between 900,000 and 1 million. Nine homes in the 1 million to 2 million price range. Two homes in the 2 million to 3 million price range. One home in the 3 million to 4 million price range. Two homes in the 5 million to 7 million price range, and one home in that 7 to 10 million price range. So, when we break all of those numbers down, it uh, would indicate that the median list price for a home in the Gardnerville, Minden, Topaz, and Genoa area is sitting at about 819000 and the average list price is at about $1.3 million. Check it out though. If we simply eliminate the listing that is over $4 million, that'll drop that median list price from $819,000 to $765,000. It'll drop the average from $1.3 million to $945,000. And again, that is simply by eliminating the three highest listing prices and making the new high only $3.4 million. Now, as you know, I do also like to break things down even further for you guys. With inventory being really limited, it's very important if you're actively searching for a home to purchase, I'm sure you're running into a ton of competition. I believe, according to the National Association of Realtors, that the homes that are actively for sale right now are on average getting about 3.8 list or uh, excuse me offers uh, for every home that's on sale so one thing i like to recommend is that you pay attention to four statuses when it comes to homes that are actively for sale those statuses are new back on market price reduced and extended status a new status is going to be that uh, newly listed homes. Typically, they sit in that status for about five days. Back on market status means that the home actually was pulled off of the market for whatever reason and is now back on market. So since they had to pull their home off the market, they are likely to want to get an offer on their property accepted as quickly as possible. Um, so you might have some advantages there. The next status, again, is going to be price reduced. Uh, this means that their home was put on the market at a certain price, uh, but they were not getting any activity or offers on the house, so uh, they have reduced the price. And then the last status is going to be that extended status. This means that the home actually sat on the market so long that likely their listing contract with their realtor expired and they had to draw up a new one to extend that, so it's extended. Uh, out of the 52 homes that are actively for sale in the Gardnerville, Minden, Topaz, and Genoa area of Northern Nevada, 12 out of the 52 fit into those four categories of new back on market price reduced or extended status. And eight out of that 12 indicated they would be eligible for that FHA financing. 
So 66% of that inventory is again eligible for FHA financing where you can put as little as 3.5% down. So breaking those numbers down, uh, it's going to reduce everything significantly. There was one home in the 300 to 400,000 price range, three homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, five homes, or excuse me, two homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, one home in the 600 to 700,000 price range, one home in the 900,000 to 1 million price range, and three homes in the 1 to 2 million price range, one home in the 3 to 4 million price range. The highest list price at 3.4 million and the low at only 350,000. So the median list price for those that are in that new back on market price reduced or extended status drops significantly to only 639,000 compared to the 819,000 if we ran the numbers for all 52 homes that are actively for sale. The average drops from 1.3 million, again, on all 52 homes actively for sale to only 1 million when we take into consideration only those four statuses. So that is it for today's Market Minute with Jake. As always, if you enjoy the content, please don't forget to click that like button. If you do have family or friends that are actively looking for a home to purchase or who need help with the sale of their existing home, I'd love the opportunity to talk with them. So please feel free to tag them in this video as well. You can reach me seven days a week at 775-378-4976. You can also email me at jakeeldridge32 at gmail.com. Or if you're watching on Facebook, click that send message button and you can use Facebook's messenger service to send an instant message with your questions and I'm happy to answer that way as well. Thanks again for watching and have a great night.